In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. So welcome to our celebration of the Eucharist. Today we celebrate also the memorial of St. Apollinaris, bishop and martyr in the first century. So we pray, as we always do, with hearts full of gratitude to God, who is faithful, who is merciful. And we begin our celebration by acknowledging our faults, our failures, asking God to forgive us. Lord Jesus, you came to reconcile us to one another and to the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Show favor, O Lord, to your servants, and mercifully increase the gifts of your grace, that made fervent in hope, faith, and charity, they may be ever watchful in keeping your commands. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Exodus. Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and the Lord swept the sea with a strong east wind throughout the night, and so turned it into dry land. When the water was thus divided, the children of Israel marched into the midst of the sea on dry land, with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. The Egyptians followed in pursuit. All Pharaoh's horses and chariots and charioteers went after them right into the midst of the sea. In the night watch just before dawn, the Lord cast through the column of the fiery cloud Upon the Egyptian force, a glance that threw it into a panic. And he so clogged their chariot wheels that they could hardly drive. With that, the Egyptians sounded the retreat before Israel because the Lord was fighting for them against the Egyptians. Then the Lord told Moses, Stretch out your hand over the sea, that the water may flow back upon the Egyptians upon their chariots and their charioteers. So Moses stretched out his hand over the sea, and at dawn the sea flowed back to its normal depth. The Egyptians were fleeing head on toward the sea when the Lord hurled them into its midst. As the water flowed back, it covered the chariots and the charioteers of Pharaoh's whole army that had followed the children of Israel into the sea. Not a single one of them escaped, but the children of Israel had marched on dry land through the midst of the sea, with the water like a wall to their right and to their left. Thus the Lord saved Israel on that day from the power of the Egyptians. When Israel saw the Egyptians lying dead on the seashore and beheld the great power that the Lord had shown against the Egyptians, they feared the Lord and believed in him and in his servant Moses. Then Moses and the children of Israel sang this song to the Lord. I will sing to the Lord, for he is gloriously triumphant. Horse and chariot he has cast into the sea. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. At the breath of your anger, the waters piled up, the flowing waters stood like a mound, the flood waters congealed in the midst of the sea, the enemy boasted, I will pursue and overtake them, I will divide the spoils and have my fill of them, I will draw my sword, my hand shall despoil them. Let us sing to the Lord, he has covered himself in glory. 
When your wind blew, the sea covered them. Like lead, they sank in the mighty waters. When you stretch out your right hand, the earth swallowed them. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. And you brought them in and planted them on the mountain of your inheritance, the place where you made your seat, O Lord, the sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands establish. Let us sing to the Lord. He has covered himself in glory. Alleluia, alleluia. Whoever loves me will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him. Alleluia, alleluia. alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. While Jesus was speaking to the crowds, his mother and his brothers appeared outside wishing to speak with him. Someone told him, your mother and your brothers are standing outside asking to speak with you. But he said in reply to the one who told him, who is my mother? Who are my brothers? And stretching out his hand toward his disciples, he said, Here are my mother and my brothers. For whoever does the will of my heavenly Father is my brother and sister and mother. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In the midst of the sea, we just heard... Uh, We've been reading from the book of Exodus, uh, this adventure of the people of Israel, very long adventure, and this is the first uh, climax, the, first move, the climax of the first movement, uh, Israel being uh, drawn, taken out from uh, slavery in Egypt. And this is a reading that uh, must also be familiar to us who joined the Easter Vigil. Uh, this is one of the readings, a very, very powerful reading. But um, apart from and within the context of this great act of salvation by God uh, of the people of Israel, we keep hearing uh, in this particular section, in the midst of the sea, in the midst of the sea, and finally through the midst, uh, through the midst of the sea. You know? So. The sea, we know how uh, rich the sea is as a symbol. Those of us who've uh, spent some time either, you know, tra either being uh, by the seashore, but especially when traveling in a small boat, you know, uh, you know going to you know, small islands um, off the main shore, we know how powerful the sea is. You know? it also seems very strange. And it can strike fear because it is beyond our control. The sea uh, contains all of that, you know? all, of, all of those um, meanings and uh, significances. And so here in the story in particular, it comes between the sea between the people who are people of Israel who are going out of Egypt and into the Promised Land, so it's like a, a big hurdle you know, between what they have uh, been freed from and what has been promised to them. And this is a very dramatic moment where we see God sending the people of Israel into the midst of the sea. The sea, as we just you know, reflected, is a very scary place. And yet that's what God makes the people of Israel do. Go into the midst of the sea with the promise that God will defend them. God will protect them. And so they went. The, the, the dramatic description no, of the parting of the waters and the people walking on dry land. And this happened in the night. But it was not only the people of Israel who went into the sea. Pharaoh's army also followed in pursuit 
into the midst of the sea. We hear that phrase again, into the midst of the sea. But this time, they're not on God's side. In fact, they're trying to uh, undo God's will. They were against God's will. And so they went into the sea full of pride, pride in their own strength, pride in you know, uh, being independent and uh, exercising control over this other people to whom they saw simply as slaves, nothing more, good for nothing else. And so they went into the midst of the sea, we are told. But instead of being saved, they drowned. They were destroyed. And we are clearly told not a single one of them escaped. Again, the power of the sea that inspires awe for those who survive, but also inspires fear for those who did not go into the midst of the sea with the protection of God. And so, what will be the basis for God protecting us who go into work, invited to go into the midst of the sea? Well, from the Old Testament, it's basically belonging to uh, this chosen people. But, of course, it's more than that. It's not just by birth. And that's where the gospel becomes very instructive. And Jesus clearly makes that point. He was asked, oh, your family, your mother and brothers are outside waiting to speak with you. And he uses that moment as a teaching moment. Who are my mother and my brothers? Whoever does the will of my father, my heavenly father, is my brother and sister and mother. That is the basis of our faith that we will be protected. We will be defended by God as we go into the midst of the sea. And we have the promise that we will have the ability to look back, having crossed, having survived, having been defended. We will look back and say, we were able to march on dry land through the midst of the sea. So we pray that we can be God's own, God's people, not simply by birth, but particularly by doing the will of the Heavenly Father. We pray for our own conversion. We pray for our fidelity to God who is always faithful in the midst of the sea. So let us offer our prayers as a community of faith. Gathered together as a community, let us ask God our Father for our needs, our response. Lord, remember your people. Lord, Lord remember, remember your, your people. people. That the church may become a true family, faithful to the will of the Father and to the teachings of Christ, we pray. Lord, remember your people. That government leaders may not enact laws or initiate programs contrary to our faith and morals, we pray. Lord, remember your people. That families may become true brothers and sisters by their love for one another, as willed by Jesus, we pray. Lord, remember your people. That we may show concern for those suffering in any form, that we may lighten their burdens and help them to keep trusting in God, we pray. Lord, remember your people. That the faithful departed may come to their everlasting home, we pray. Lord, remember your people. For those celebrating their birthday, especially Bambi C., Linda Santos, Charlie Brown Tan, Alice Encarnacion, Ditas Reyes, Anton Sison, Gabby Bessa, Mini Santiago, Jamie Catanes, PJ Mariano Capistrano, John Alexis Balaguer, Pio Abad, Sonia Rocco, 
and Alice Liu, we pray. Lord, Lord remember, remember your people. For the healing of Maddie Harrison, Antonio Valdez, Emily Quaso, Carmelita Abad Santos Ascalon, and Manolo and Marites, we pray. Lord, Lord remember, remember your people. For the repose of the souls of Noel Viado, Domingo Tiong, Rosemary Rodriguez, Consuelo Con, Juanita Dito Tan, Jack Tan, Florinda Borromeo, and Thelmacia, we pray. Lord, Lord remember, remember your people. For the special intentions of Rina and Beaver, Arben and Zelda Santos, Marilinda Yi, our Muslim brothers and sisters on the streets of Eddie Adha, Lisa Halandoni, and Hannah Gonzalez, we pray. Lord, Lord remember, remember your people. people. And for all the intentions you have sent to our Facebook pages at JESCOM and Radio Katipunan, we pray. Lord, Lord remember, remember your people. Loving Father, help us to become your faithful children who are obedient to your holy will. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be made acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. May the offerings we bring in commemoration of blessed Apollinaris be acceptable to you, we pray, O Lord, so that they may be pleasing to your majesty, just as the shedding of this martyr's blood was precious in your sight. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you are glorified when your saints are praised. Their very sufferings are but wonders of your might. In your mercy, you give ardor to their faith, to their endurance, you grant firm resolve, and in their struggle, the victory is yours through our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, all creatures of heaven and earth sing a new song in adoration, and we, with all the host of angels, cry out, and without end, we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, 
We proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Onesto, our Bishop, all the clergy, all who minister to your people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, St. Apollinaris, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Together now we pray as Jesus taught us. Our Father, Our Father who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. We offer each other a sign of peace. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold, Jesus, the Lamb of God, he who takes away the sins of the world, how blessed are we who have been invited to his banquet. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you are already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen.
Let us pray. May the sacred mysteries of which we have partaken, O Lord, we pray, give us that determination which made your blessed martyr Apollinaris faithful in your service and victorious in suffering. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Eucharist is ended. Let us go glorifying the Lord by our lives. Thanks, Thanks be, be to, to God. God. Nasa krus ni Jesus Ang siyang sa mundo'y tumubos Langit at lupa siya'y papurihan Araw at tala siya'y parangahalan Aking pag-iwang pag-ibig ng Diyos sa tanan Alleluia At isigaw